Welcome everyone to a Heading 2 WordPress tutorial. My name is Marcus Burnett and today we're going to look at setting up a list of posts in Elementor. Now let's take a look at what I'm talking about. So here within the Heading 2 WP Podcast site we have a list of our podcast episodes so far and this is a custom post type with a field for the embed code and the title and the season and episode number and a bit of a description. So uh, wanted to have that listed on, on this page of all the podcast episodes. And uh, to do that, I needed to use something called Elementor Custom Skin to get this looking the way that I wanted it to look. So that's what we're gonna look at today. And we'll be doing it in a demo site with uh, some team biographies. Cause I think that this is probably one of the most common use cases for something like this is creating like a team bio page. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, all I have so far here is just a heading to demo site that I set up and it has a header and a footer template just so those are on every page. Um, and Elementor is installed. And what I've gone ahead and done just to save us a little bit of time is I created a team member custom post type using custom post type UI. Uh, and that also has some custom fields that we can add for team members. So if I go in here and take a look, um, there's just, there are fields for job title, member since, which is just a select for a handful of different years, and just a hobby field, something fun that we can add as well. So if I go to team members, you can see that I've already gone ahead and created one, two, three, four, five, six team members and all of this information has already been added, including the title of the, the name of the team member, some dummy text here, I have the job title at the bottom, member since 2015, this is just a drop down list, um, and then hobby, and then we have a featured image as well. So what we want to do is I've created a page called our team right here. And if we take a look at it, it's really not going to have anything on it. This is going to be where we want to list all of our team. So let's go ahead and edit with Elementor and we'll get ourselves started here before we get into adding the additional plugin. So normally what you would do is you would come into Elementor, find where you want to add that. Let's do a little bit of cleanup here. Um, let's see, we'll hide the title and then we'll come back over and add a heading. And it's not going to be any different. We'll just call it our team, center it up. Let's give this a little bit of extra room by changing, let's see, the column gap, we'll just make that wider. Um, and then we'll add our posts. This isn't really a design demo so much, so I'm not going to focus too much on what the page looks like overall, but we'll look at more of the functionality. So I'll grab posts, and we'll add this posts widget right underneath our team. And by default, it's going to display the uh, the regular default WordPress posts, but we're going to switch that to um, to our custom post type. So let me slide down here to query real quick. Let's change this from posts to team members. So not bad, actually. You know, better than better than you might expect, since it's pulling from what it would think a normal post type might want, you know, featured image, title, date published, that's something we don't need, um, an excerpt and a read more. So we'll get to some of that, but we want this to look the way that uh, that we want it to and have the fields that we want it to have. So under layout, this is where you would normally change some things, but we're going to, uh, we're going to just hit update and save our page here. And I'm going to show you how to make each one of these the way that you want it to be. So to do that, we're going to exit back to the dashboard. 
and go enable our additional plugin. Now this is a free plugin. Um, it's called Elementor Custom Skin and it's in the WordPress.org repository for free. Um, it shows up as Ella Custom Skin here for some reason, but it is called Elementor Custom Skin in the repository. Let's activate that. And what Elementor Custom Skin allows you to do is it allows you to create a template for each item in a post loop, and it will then use that template for each of the items to pull in any of the content, any of the data from that post, like the featured image or any custom fields. Uh, or anything like that. So you can customize each of the items in the loop to look exactly the way that you want it to look. So let's go ahead and look at um, adding a new template for our for our post loop here. Add new and what you'll notice is is that now there's a loop option under the type of template that you'd like to work on. So I'm going to choose loop. That is what's been added by Elementor Custom Skin. And I'm going to call this team member member post. Um, and that might lead me to believe that it's the individual post. Let's just call this like loop item or something. Create template. And there are a couple of things that we're going to want to do to start here just to kind of give us our give ourselves a bit of a, um, a way to preview what we're doing. Don't need any of those at the moment. Uh, so let's go to settings and then over under preview settings here, we'll want to be able to choose at least a piece of content to preview. So let's go to team member. And then if you remember any one of the, the team member names, you can start typing it and then apply and preview. Now we're not going to see anything yet because I haven't added any widgets. But once we start to add widgets, what it'll do is it'll pull in the information from that team member. So let's go ahead and get started by adding an image. So we we'll want the team member's image at the top. And for this, we're going to use dynamic tags to make sure that we're pulling in content for each of the items in the loop instead of setting, you know, just the same image for, for every single item. So we'll go to that dynamic tags and pick featured image. And what you'll see happen is that Sonata's photo has been loaded in because that is the one we chose for the preview. And then you can make some adjustments here. I think I'm going to make this one a bit smaller. Um, and then we can also link this to a URL and then make this also use dynamic tags and choose the post URL. So now, when somebody clicks on this image, it'll go to the page that's been created for Sonata. Now, if you don't want these to link to a page, then obviously don't add the link there uh, and it'll just be a listing. But in this case, I'm going to go ahead and add the link. Underneath that, I'm going to add a post title. And you should see that that pulls in Sonata's name. Again, you can decide to add a link or not. So I'm going to use the dynamic tag again to link to the post URL. So when someone clicks on the name, it'll take you, take them to uh, this team member's individual page. Now this isn't doesn't need to be a heading one. This is likely going to be a heading two. Uh, and let's just go ahead and publish that. Uh, just leave the conditions as is. Don't add a condition and just hit save. And what we're going to do is we're going to, um, let's see, we'll use the finder here to head back to our team page. I'll just do a search for team and we'll jump over to our team page so that we can quickly edit that. Once this loads, we'll have our Here's our listing again, but instead of each of these default views, we're going to want to use our own custom one that we've been setting up. So under layout, the very first option is skin, and you'll want to change that from classic to custom so that we can use our custom template. Now it's not going to know what to use until we pick a template, so let's use the drop down, and you can see that team member loop item 
has been added as an option here. So we'll choose that. And what we should see is each of our team members loaded into into the uh, into the into the loop here with our own templates. And now you can see that the featured image is there and the title is there and it's showing the little hand. So if, you know, if we were on the page viewing the page and I clicked on one of these, it would take you to their individual pieces of content. There's a little bit more work that we can do here. So let's hit update. And what I'll do is I will open this in a new tab and that way we can do a little bit of work and then refresh to see how things are going. So there's our page. Let's use the finder again. I'll type in team so we can get back to our team member loop item. And let's add a couple more pieces here before we call it. Let that load in. All right, that's loaded. These are a bit smaller. As you can see, they're not all the same height. So I'm going to go ahead and see if we can fix that a little bit by using a custom size here. And let's do like, oh, I don't know. Let's do 500, 400, 500 by 800. We should get a bit smaller of an image here. And then under style, what I'm going to also go ahead and do is give this a, let's say, 20 pixel border radius just to sort of round those off a little bit. Still don't love those proportions, so let's see. Let's make this. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's make it a little bit wider, maybe. Yeah, it's looking a little bit better. And then we have the name. Now, of course, these are going to be scrunched down into three columns, so I'm not worried too much about how wide this is at the moment. Um, underneath, I'm going to want to add, let's see, let's add text editor, because I want to add member since and whatever year it is. Uh, dynamic tags and what we're going to do here is we're going to use a post custom field so we can use one of our custom fields and the one we're going to choose it's not showing up let's see let's try a different thing here let's come down to aha uh -huh, ACF field so what we're going to use is one of our fields from that we set up with advanced custom fields and there we go now we can choose member since and that oh, already it shows that and then we can add member since as text before it member since 2015 so hit update and just save again just like to save frequently to make sure that we don't lose anything and then let's see what else did we have to add um let me go ahead and just slide this up a tiny bit Go to advanced, unlink these, switch it to M, and let's make the top negative one, just to slide it up a bit. Maybe we can style it a little bit so it's not so boring. Let's go typography. That's fine. Let's do it all uppercase, maybe. Yeah, and italicize it. Remember since 2015. All right, and then the other thing we had was hobby, right? So let's grab, nope, not intersection. Let's grab text editor again, and we'll oh, accidentally slid that to the wrong place. Let's bring that back up where it belongs. And this will be, again, we're gonna scroll down to ACF field, and that way we can click this wrench for the settings for this field and pick Oh, that's why we have job title and hobby still. Um, let's go job title, actually. Let's fix this up a little bit. I think I want to have job title underneath the name. And then let's undo what we did for the spacing here. 
and apply it to this one instead. Switch this to M and unlink it and go negative one. And we'll also do some typography work here as well. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Maybe also all uppercase because why not? And bold this time. And last but not least, let's just go ahead and add our hobby. So again, add a text, um, add a text editor field. Use the dynamic tags button here to scroll down to ACF field. If you don't see the dynamic tags field, then uh, you'll probably need to update to Elementor Pro. I believe that's an Elementor Pro specific feature. Um, and I do have Elementor Pro here. So if you're missing that, go take a look at Elementor Pro and see if that's something that you might need to pick up. I'm looking at ACF fields here. Let's go hobby. And I see it says racing. Click the wrench again, go to advanced, and let's go hobby racing. All right, and click update. Ignore the add condition, just save it. And then once it's saved, we're gonna hop over here and let's refresh and see what we ended up with. Let this page reload and there you go. You can see we have the images that are links have the names that are also links, each of their positions in the company, when they became a member of the company, and each of their hobbies. And because we did some custom formatting on the images, they're also all the same height and have the rounded corners. And I think that's looking pretty good. Um, obviously there's some more stuff that you can do. Again, this isn't a tutorial about um, you know design or how to lay things out. This is just to kind of show a little bit of how Elementor custom skin works and how that you can um, add that to your Elementor post listings so that you can format those how you'd like. Um, if you enjoyed that, go ahead and like this video, leave a comment in the comments if you have any questions or anything on that. And uh, otherwise I will see you all next time. Bye.